crack open a beer, do a little bit of a beer chat around it. I'm going to be drinking the Dogfish Head Fruitful Fort tonight. Hopefully you guys have had a great weekend or are still having a great weekend. And if you have not seen this beer before, here is actually the look of it here. This one actually uses four different types of berries for this beer. 18% ABV. And if you're wondering what berries they use, raspberry, blackberry, boysenberry, and elderberry. Also mentioned um, kind of like a jammy red wine from those that uh, created this at Dogfish Head. So have not had this one previously. Looking forward to uh, checking this one out. This is actually one of the ones I picked up on the uh, unboxing video I showed with the deals I received from a few of the places locally. This one was a great deal, $1.99 a bottle. And they had to basically clear shelves, nothing wrong with it. You can store this for a period of time. As they tell you in the bottle, it does age well. They just had to get stuff off the shelves and sometimes just being at the right place at the right time. So looking forward to cracking this baby open. What is going on, Erie and Vanessa? Cheers to you both. So let's go ahead and get this baby into a glass. Yesterday I spent most of the day at the uh, beer festival. So actually after I do this live stream later on here at around 9.15, there's a video I uploaded that'll be hello from myself and Todd and Shannon and Eric as we were preparing to go to the festival yesterday. But a great time, lots of great beers sampled and tasted. Uh, did not record any of them for Untapped though, just kind of unplugged from that for the day just to kind of hang out and have fun with the guys. So, can't remember all of them that I probably tried there, but there were some decent ones for sure. So I'm gonna get this all into the glass here. And with this one, it is considered into the strong ale category, which is kind of a catch-all for beers that nobody knows really where to place them, but they usually have a high ABV at 18%. That definitely qualifies. Has a darker, oh, it like a darker burgundy type color on the beer itself, and not really seen anything into it. So you're not able to really look into the beer as much. The hay came out to be uh, about a half finger, thinning down rather quickly, which does happen with these higher ABV beers. Usually they will not hold a head as long. Well, you're definitely getting a sense of the berries, but you're also getting a sense of the alcohol. It's hard to hide 18% ABV. Definitely can feel like it's gonna have maybe a little bit of that alcohol burn in it, but as far as what I would expect to get here, yeah, I mean, it's got a nice berry feel to it, taste-wise. I can definitely see why the brewery dis um, described it as somewhat as a jammy type wine. You do have a jam type feel of the berries there when you think of like a jam you put in your toast or whatever. It's got a jammy sense to it. That alcohol burn is definitely there. Definitely feel that going down some in the chest. But it's not overly uh, done. It's got a nice feel of a tartness from the berries, but it's not overly tart. It's got a mellow out type feel to it. You can definitely feel the duration in the mouth of the flavor sticking around. Not one you really want to go quickly through. It's kind of one you want to sit back and sip on and enjoy for a bit. So it does satisfy in that regard. A little bit of prickling there on the tongue, but not highly overcarbonated. Got a little bit of an acidity feel. But flavor-wise, it's uh, kind of what I would expect there. So, very nice from Dogfish Head. Nothing wrong with this beer. I think um, someone had asked about how thank of how um, if there was something maybe wrong with the beers or something like that or anything. No, they just had to basically clear shelf space and was able to get this for a great deal. Uh, Eric said, I should be thankful. I let him know you are alive tonight. How about he was going to order his cup and not order me anything? Well, that's... That's not cool. That's not cool at all. <laughs> Although he did, he did want his stein for a while 
Um, so I'm actually going to be uh, putting that stuff through um, for them, hopefully to get that done and out by tomorrow. And I don't know how long it takes for them to put that together, but I'm going to contact them. I'm going to put the order through here tonight or by tomorrow so they can get that out to you as soon as possible. But appreciate that. Yeah, he got the... Um, the Stein and I saw the keychain piece as well. So just some different things I was messing with there, but I appreciate you guys definitely taking a look and having that and uh, talking up the Rajay Beer Ventures brand. Always nice. What's up, Blake? Cheers, my friend. And uh, Aries said, what's up, Blake, as well. And Vanessa says, hello or hi. Yeah, but a few of these would definitely knock you down for sure, LOL. They, uh, pack a pretty good punch um, on the back end I get a little bit of a stronger sense of the alcohol really coming through in that finish it's got a little bit of a, a dark fruit type feel to it as well and Blake says cheers ladies and I wanted another hat I know <laughs> all in time all in time right <laughs> maybe getting me a shirt next payday lol <laughs> Yeah, I just redid these shirts. I still got the other shirts, but I'm kind of just doing different things as well. So, this was the latest shirt I added to the line there. Uh, Fruitful Fort was nice. Damn sure we'll get the job done with one almost. Yeah, it was nice. And welcome, Alan, as well. 18 with that yellow top one. And holy hell. <laughs> yeah, and uh, what's also was good, the Fruitful Fort for $1.99 really gets it done for a damn good price. So, yeah, I'm sipping on this. I'm going to... Be tuning in here at nine o'clock to catch the end of the Outsider for their for the finale. Um, so I said oh, I'm gonna jump on and do something before I watch that. And so I said, "What beer do I want to do? Is gonna hold me over?" And I said, "Oh, I'll drink one of the Fruitful Fort, and uh, that should kick in nicely while I'm sitting there relaxing and uh, watching the show." For the way I'm going, I'll definitely finish this before the show starts. I may need another beer at that point. Try not to drink it all, but it is what it is. Uh, let me see. Man, I have that. that. It was definitely, definitely strong. Yeah, it is definitely there. What's going on, miscellaneous? Nice to see you, my friend. Yeah, you can't hide the alcohol in this type of beer or that kind of ABV. I mean, you feel you feel it there. Um, but again, it's, not, it's done in a good way where the berries do lead. It's not overly done. Got a good flavor for the palate. But yeah, you're gonna get a sense of that heat coming through for sure. A dollar nine, oh man, I would definitely snap that up. Yeah, it was a dollar ninety nine each when I got them, so I ended up getting like two four packs. It's a steal, right? Eight dollars. Usually, a four pack of these will cost you somewhere between thirty six to forty, I believe. Um, usually around eight to uh, if they do them individually out, eight to eleven. I've seen twelve for some individual bottles because when they end up, they break them up, they try to overcharge you for the bottle versus if you get all four together but yeah that was just that's like 75 percent discount so it's awesome kept the bottle damn that's a good price better than i got it for yes and it's, it's not something that you probably see you would ever really see something like this it was just the right time again it was one of my places where i buy beer they keep a vip list so the people that you come in there things come out they do deals they contact you first to let you know and then I um, basically, I saw the deal, so I went there. I actually went there later in the day. I went there, it was last Saturday, like around noon. But they had Goose Island. I think they were getting rid of their Bourbon County Stout they had. I think, and the most they were charging were four ninety nine a bottle. So I'm thinking they were getting that off the shelves as well. By the time I got there, I got this and a few others. Um, like I said, I did a, the last unboxing video before I got the merchandise and I was doing the beer was basically that one from last week so that's here on the channel as well but uh i love when i find good deals i just love it love it love it pay 10 for my bottle yeah that's what i mean so i couldn't pass that up for sure <laughs> and it's funny when i had the guy ring it up he kind of looked at it he looked at it twice and i'm like yeah dollar 99 a bottle so uh it was a good day uh, my buddy had a bunch of that at the shop it's a good seller for them, too. I don't know why they had so many they couldn't get rid of. I, I will say in the majority of my area, although we have a lot of craft beer drinkers, and that's why we had the Beer Fest, and we get a lot of people that drink beer throughout the Cincinnati area, where the store is located, I would say it's probably still more macro drinkers there. And a lot of times, being a craft beer drinker, you get these good deals because a lot of people aren't drinking them. they got to move it. 
I was like, shit, I would have done the same. Let me catch some red slip up with the Worldwide Stout or something for less than 99 a bottle. Same thing with that. Yeah, actually, I've gotten some of the um, the Oak Age Worldwide Stout from them as well. And I think they were also doing a stout sale a few months back. And I think for the Oak, I paid seven ninety nine a bottle maybe, um, which is still pretty nice. But a dollar ninety nine is off the freaking chain. You get this for $1.99, it's like taking a run. And there were actually like three cases left. So I actually had to hold myself for not buying more, uh, especially since these can age. I'm kind of tasting this, the first one I've actually had of this one. And uh, I could have definitely gotten some more and I would have been okay with that. So I'm off tomorrow. I may swing back by, see if there's anything else out there. They do deals like weekly and stuff. So we have the deals here. We have the deals like Jungle Gyms. We have deals in some of the other places. And it's funny because it was one of the things with the beer fest and we didn't really get a chance to shoot any video because we didn't catch up with them till the end. The Kentucky Brew Review crew was in. So we got a chance to meet them after the beer fest at the end. And we talked and had a great time. Uh, again, big congrats to Radar who was also at a bachelor party. He's about to get married. Um, but we had some fun with those guys for a little bit of time. They went out to Jungle Gyms and they were getting four locals for like 50 cents a can. Not that you know you should be pumped up about Four loco, but at 50 cents a can, some of them like Four Locos and they got some really great deals off of it. <laughs> so, and I don't even, I can't even imagine how much they took back on their trip home because I know they bought some other stuff out there too and got a chance to really get some good deals up here. So we're, as I said, it's a great area. I did that video talking about Cincinnati, number one area for beer drinkers after that report was done. And being here, I can tell you there's always deals and there's always beer and there's always great things happening. Uh, big shout out to Hillbilly. What's going on? Cheers, my friend. Hillbilly Select Reviews in the house. Says hello, everybody. Good to see you, brother. It's been a little bit of time. And check him out. He also does uh, beer, coffee, and wine as well on his channel. Uh, as you see, Dow Futures fell 1,000 points due to Saudi Arabia slashing oil prices. Uh, I did not see the futures um, fall as of yet for that. So you're saying to where tomorrow's opening that the Dow is already down. Um, I'm, whew, I'm glad I'm off tomorrow because that's going to be some crazy calls at the office. So I'm actually off tomorrow and I'll be, I'll be watching the financial stuff here, but I uh, mean, it's going to be a little bit crazy for my advisors out there. Uh, do, 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 do. Blake says cheers to Hillbilly and Hillbilly says cheers to Blake. And Blake, I tried to get on your show the other night, but I don't think you ever saw it. Like I posted a thing, so I just went ahead and played some Call of Duty. It was like Friday night or whatever. Um, when I was here, but it's all good, brother. You had a great little chat going and stuff, and uh, I kind of kicked back, played some gaming after we went to dinner and everything with Todd and uh, Eric and Shannon. Uh, cheers, no hype beer reviews. Hello, Jelly, that beer basement you got there. I know, right? And uh, I think I missed your one comment there. Welcome, Kyle. No hype beer reviews in the house. Rod J deals. Always about finding a Rod J deals, my friend. And great, great chat. I only got to catch like the last half hour. But great chat you had with Thomas today on your channel. Um, Tom is part of the Dutch Beer Collective, um, who also does beer reviews. But if you didn't check out No Hype Beer Reviews, and haven't checked No Hype Beer Reviews, check Kyle out. He's definitely doing his damn thing out there and doing a great job at it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, he has one hell of a beer basement for sure. Uh, miscellaneous, man, if you really want to try a good one, I found... When it's alone, at least from Collective Arts, is a blueberry sour with cacao nibs. It was amazing. Show the beer man the other night. Hmm, that sounds uh, that sounds interesting. I like Collective Arts. I do get some of their beers. We do get their distribution through Ohio now, so I'll definitely take a look and check them out. I've had a few of their stuff in the past, and they're pretty decent overall. Uh, I got to start drinking my cellar down. Well. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem we, we all seem to have at some point, I think. <laughs> you do have one heck of a seller. <laughs> and then Nave's in the house says, Hey folks, cheers, Nave. Welcome, my friend. And Blake says, Cheers to Nave as well. No hype. I'll take anything you don't want. LOL says, Eclectic Beard. <laughs> yeah, that was going to tank. Uh, <laughs> last, yeah. Who needs a 401k? Who needs a 401k anyway, right? So, um, oil will be dropping in price going forward. EVs are taking over. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a possibility out there. We'll see. I mean, the uh, the oil companies definitely have been able to hold back a lot of the stuff going on electric vehicles for a while, but can they still do it at this point? I don't know. We'll see. Another down Monday on the market. 
Uh, Rod fell a thousand due to Saudi Arabia slashing prices. Oil at like 32 a barrel or something like that. Yeah, they'll go ahead tomorrow because there's nothing on there as of yet. I mean, I think if you were to go over to CNBC, they have the overnight market hours and stuff taking place there. Like they'll have the stuff going on in China and all that. Um, but yeah, when they open up in the morning, they'll be talking about the Dow futures and stuff for sure. So we'll see. Nate says, how you doing, Blake? Uh, no, I says too kind. Yeah, I've actually had drunken one offer to, to move into my beer basement if I ever need anything to help get rid of beers. <laughs> uh, you do it in the house. What's going on, my friends? I just interviewed Tactical uh, Grandma on my Facebook page. She's a grandma who plays Call of Duty and destroys it on her Facebook live streams. Oh, really? I have to check out Tactical Grandma. <laughs> Good for her. <laughs> hey, we're building a regiment. Maybe we can use her in there. We can we can get some help. <laughs> Possibly Vanessa is going to be joining a regiment at some point here as well. Uh, like to say, cheers to Nave. Nave says, "How you doing, Alan?" Nave doing good. Nave, uh, I said hi to Erie, but Alan might get jealous. Uh, you would say hi to Erie. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you should say hi to Erie. Erie's always, like, one of the first ones here. I'm sure Alan's okay with you saying hi to Erie. I'm scared to check my 401k. <laughs> no, don't, don't be afraid to check your 401k. In fact, if you can put more in, I mean, <coughs> it's a chance to actually pick up more stuff down the line as well. People buy and sell on emotion, but I can tell you, being in the financial world over 25 years, these things will tend to bounce back. Um... And it's an opportunity more than not. So we'll see what happens. Every few years, you know, there's something that goes on in the market, some type of shock type thing. Um, sometimes it's so much of a shock, like you look at the housing situation back in 2008, becomes a great buying opportunity. This might be one that's not maybe as deep as what that was, but you still have an opportunity out there. Now, if you were retiring tomorrow, I'd be a little nervous about looking at it. <laughs> You wouldn't care as long as you don't ask me to wear a trash bag. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Ari. That's funny. <laughs> uh, tagged you an NBC article on Facebook on it and Bloomberg News uh, to live now about it. Okay, so they're already talking about it now. Okay. Well, I would definitely take a look at that as well. Uh, Nave, I'm good. Uh, that is terrible, though. LOL. So you having some problems there, Blake, with the internet again? Internet works great. I've been up to my ears and alligators the last two weeks. Uh, apparently, we should all buy stock in toilet paper and hand sanitizer. Well, you know, if you bought, I, I don't know who owns Perel, if where Perel is themselves under their own company. I never looked into it, but if they aren't, they're probably under Procter and Gamble or something like that and everything. But uh, yeah, sanitizer. I, the whole the crazy run on the toilet paper stuff. I have no idea. I guess. People are just that nervous. I would think it would be more a run like on some of the uh, the companies that do the bottled water or maybe even like Gatorade or stuff like that. Some of the canned food companies. But toilet paper is right up there, I guess, too. So I guess it's a it's kind of a fear concern, you know, sanitizer and toilet paper. Pretty soon people will be buying aloe vera and rubbing alcohol because now people are putting the recipe out that to be the sanitizer you can create and stuff. So a video about 5G 60 megahertz signal being what's given uh, any, everyone the coronavirus is that it's not an actual virus but it messes with cell structure and supercharges bacteria and viruses. Hmm. Yeah, Blake said you wore a trash bag once, didn't work well. <laughs> it didn't work at all well. <laughs> I remember that. Um, I haven't heard that kind of that theory about that. Um, Although we don't know, I mean, it's kind of funny. Of 60 Minutes tonight, we were watching, and they did a interview with um, people that had done some testing for a hypothetical pandemic to hit with the CDC and the people from around the world. And it just happened to be a few weeks right before the coronavirus outbreak uh, became an outbreak, which is kind of interesting because then it's kind of like. Well, either that's really damn good timing or that's one hell of a coincidence, right? Like, you just did this a few weeks ago, right before this actually happened. It's kind of an interesting type piece to it. But, uh, you know, they're they're out there and they were trying to, uh, I guess, debunk all the stuff that people were saying that wasn't true or what it was true about it. 
the little guy that works with Trump was allowed to sit, you know, say what he was saying. And a lot of people, he was saying he wasn't muzzled like people were saying he was muzzled. But um, it was just uh, some different views and different viewpoints on it. And I saw earlier, I guess today, New York had uh, something where they were quarantining like 4,000 people, I think, that might have had a break out there in New York. Um, I know there was a case in Tennessee that came up uh, yesterday or the day before. So, I mean, it is what it is. So we'll see what happens. Most of the time, it's the older people that have the underlying conditions that have had the, the biggest issues. But half the world has already gotten over it, or half the number of people that have gotten it have gotten over it, I should say. Unfortunately, other places have popped up. They don't have 5G, so that's out the window. Yeah. <laughs> We're up to six in the state now, Erie said. Netflix had a dec documentary called Pandemic that came out just before the coronavirus hit. And I might have, maybe that was from the study they were actually doing as well. Hey, what's going on, Bleach, Barbie, Blonde, Bimbo? Welcome. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Cheers to you. <laughs> um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how all that actually plays out. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that, uh, Barbie. Um, cor 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 coronavirus mortality is 0.7, a bit higher than seasonal flu. Point one to point three, is that what it is now? Because I remember when I looked at the numbers, it was about two to two point three percent of the people that got it had actually died at the time. So I don't know how much the numbers have gotten up to, and how the deaths have been related to it. But it was about two to two and a half percent somewhere in that area. Uh, Blake says cheers also to Barbie, and says hello. It says. Name is Lisa. Okay, Lisa. <laughs> it's a little easier than <laughs> saying all four B's. I was going to call you Killer B there for a second, so with all four B's lined up. <laughs> Hopefully you're having a great Sunday night. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy, what's going on, brother? Rajay Live. Yeah, just stopped in to pop in for a bit. I was talking about the one beer. I don't know if you've had this or not, Jeremy, but this is what I mentioned earlier that I'm actually drinking right now from Dogfish Head. It is the Fruitful Fort. Uh, and I gotta tell you, although you did taste the alcohol when you start off, I mean, it, it is really a smooth beer, 18% ABV. They did really good the balancing of the taste with the berries they actually use in there. I don't feel like as much of a drag on the beer at all. It's just pretty damn solid. So, yeah, I'm glad I got this. Like I said, if there's more there, I will pick them up too. Uh, many cases of sniffles, cold, etc. might be coronavirus, but not reported. Between the mortality rate is quite a bit lower outside of the privacy. Yeah, I mean, if they're not counting some of the stuff, obviously, that that can kick in. I was just, when they came out, it was like, I looked at the numbers of the deaths versus uh, how many people actually had it when it was being reported, and that's where I was seeing about 2 to 2.3%. Uh, but most of the cases are for older people. The youngest person I think that did have it that I saw or kind of came down with it was 40 years old. But the ones that have died, they were much more much older. Um, and then it's the underlying respiratory conditions as well that come into play as well. Um, basically like asthma, diabetes, and different stuff like that. Which, with all the stuff we do in America and the stuff that we eat, diabetes could definitely affect a lot of people if that's kind of a underlying criteria uh check, w, check who world world health i can't talk world health organization maybe the beer is getting to me and the cdc <laughs> a little four b's yeah <laughs> oh then they said hey jeremy barbie uh jeremy said not much here hope all is doing your way and jeremy i am going to check out your video i'm going to probably check it out here after i get done watching the outsider at nine o'clock with the wife um, i want to check out your Jimi hendrix uh, jam out session as you did and if you guys haven't checked out Jeremy Vincent check him out as well especially if you like music he plays guitar he, he's putting up videos again but he had recently done one on some Jimi Hendrix tracks that I want to take a listen to that I will take a listen to afterwards and then uh, Eclectic Beard later on if you're still going to be up I'm going to definitely probably do some gaming as well too so if you still want to do that then I'll be around because I am off tomorrow three day weekend so I will be able to do that too. Uh, might as well just call it what it is: wine in a beer bottle. <laughs> you know, well, that's what they said. It said it's like a, uh, like a, like a berry jam. What did it say? Berry jammy type wine or jammy type wine? Um, that's what it really does taste like. It it does hint on like having a wine type feel to it. 
but I like that that jammy sensation in it too because it's it, it tastes like some of the jams or jellies that you would put on your toast as well. I wouldn't recommend pouring beer on your toast, but it's got that feel to it. Um, cool, haven't tried that one yet. Yeah, definitely worth a pickup. And again, I was fortunate with this one. I got a really good deal on it. It's usually about uh, eight to ten a bottle, or eight to twelve a bottle, depending where you're at. So I was able to get a steal. Uh, and Jeremy said, uh, "True, at the collected beard." Uh, so last two weeks, dead dog fender bender. Wife was in the ER, and tonight our gr uh, gray water drains are blocked. That's what's... Uh, oh, wow. That's a lot, Nave. Sorry to hear all of that going on there, my friend. Uh, Paul Middlefruit's in the house. Cheers. Says, Cheers, guys. Was in Costco today. Yup. No shit tickets up here either. Don't care. I'm an outdoorsy Canadian out with my backside with a pine cone. <laughs> so, I guess some stores are running out of toilet paper. I know our Kroger here, we've been pretty much good there. I haven't seen any issues. Although they can't keep sanitizer in. They um, they have definitely been going through that. And I was talking to one of the people over there earlier this last week. And she said she can't remember. Like It's been it seems like so long since they last had it in there. They can't even get it in on the shelves. So that's, uh, we'll see what happens. But good old soap and water. 20 seconds, right? If you can sing happy birthday to yourself, that's enough time for you to make sure you're clean if you're using soap and water, they say. Uh, looks good. It is definitely good. Uh, Dad's diabetic. Yeah, my mom is as well, Barbie. So, you know, it is a concern with them, especially they're older, that, you know, you're like I talked to her a couple of days ago just to make sure she was all set and she's not pretty much going out anywhere like that. But she was one that likes to travel a lot. But obviously, she's not traveling now because waiting to see what's happening. Um, she's up in New Jersey. They haven't had anything in South Jersey. They have one case in North Jersey, which isn't surprising because in New York, and people take the train from Jersey and New York all the time, you knew it was going to hit up there at some point. So if you got older ones, just make sure you guys are checking on them for sure. Uh, well, thanks, Blake. Blake, chat is lit. Uh, Nave, sorry I asked. Hope this week is better for you. Uh, without a doubt, we hope everything is better for Nave for sure. Keeping me kind of busy, Jeremy. And uh, thanks, Roger. Just, just a quick um, improv jam on his style. Yeah, no, it's going to be awesome. I know. So I'm looking forward to kicking that back and checking that out when I look at it later. Uh, I'm about to start streaming after you get done. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, I'm just in here for like another few minutes before I head downstairs and uh, go check out the Outsider. If you haven't seen the Outsider. And you have HBO and you're a big Stephen King fan, I would definitely recommend checking it out. But it's not like one of the Stephen King, like, kind of straight horror. It's got a, a good suspense to it, um, some great acting in it. So definitely one of the better shows I've seen so far yet this season, although it's only three months into the new year. It's uh, definitely a cool one. Uh, rub it in with your three-day weekend. <laughs> sorry, Eerie. You just, it is, I'm sorry, I don't. I don't get to sit around and crochet and pet dogs all day, so I gotta take it and enjoy it when I can. <laughs> and then Blake says, CJ. Oh, look at Barbie. He's like malt liquor. I haven't done malt liquor in a while, although I will say on the Beer Flow show on Thursday nights, we are probably overdue for doing another malt liquor show. So we may do one of those upcoming at some point here. So for all the malt liquor fans out there, we might share some stuff there. We've actually had fun on the first couple ones that we've done with them. So I have no problem doing another malt liquor one too. Uh, trouble comes in threes, but I get four shaking my head. Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, as Vanessa would always say, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger, right? So we just got to try to power through it. Uh, fully stocked in our stores, thankfully. Yeah, so Arian has no problem there as well. Um, and then Blake said, cheers, bro, and cheers, everyone. Paul's in the house. What's going on, brother? PA Brew News, another great channel. Check out there. Cheers, brother. Paul's out there in PA doing well. I hope, my friend. So, hadn't got a chance to speak with you in a bit, so hopefully things are going well for you there. And uh, Paul's kind of in a, I would say a little bit more of a secluded area, but I think you're a little bit more off the beaten path. So, maybe you're not seeing much with the whole corona thing either, but... I actually knocked this one out, which I know, Paul, you've probably had was the Fruitful Fort that I actually just uh, talked about earlier tonight. And a uh, pretty decent one from Dogfish Head. So I was actually impressed with it. And Nave says, hey to Paul as well. Just stay in the shower the whole time until the score is over with. You can always have a shower beer 
Only way to be safe, washing hands isn't enough. <laughs> Back at you, Alan. Keep me in mind when you get your Tesla truck. I want to spin. Yeah, we all want to ride an Alice Tesla if he gets one for sure. Um, Jeremy says, love Stephen King books and movies too. Got to check that one out. Right? Yeah, definitely check it out. My wife's actually upset now that she didn't read the book because she really liked the show. So, um, of course, everybody says the book is better, which the book is always going to be better for the most part because you can put more into the book and plus your imagination comes into play rather than what you see on TV or in the movie. So, but it, they, they did a really good job with it. Paul got a uh, Paul got a film. We won't see Alan after he gets his cyber truck in. Oh well, he's going to be driving all the time. Yeah, he will. Here <laughs> he says, "Shoot, I'm taking Alan's truck to work." So here he's going to be taking Alan's truck. So he may not be driving it as much as what Alan thinks he will. What doesn't kill us gives us poor coping skills and dark sense of humor. That that could be true there too, Nave as well. <laughs> Oh, I don't even have paid roses yet, let alone a case of Corona. <laughs> and that's why you're still safe, Paul. But guys, I'm going to actually uh, wrap that up. Thanks for everybody that tuned in. It's 8.58, so i got to go get settled in and get ready to watch the show. Look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Tomorrow night, I am going to be going longer. I'll be doing a 9 o'clock show, and it'll actually be the five-year app and the friends I've made, the fun we've had. So hopefully you guys can actually check that out tomorrow night as well. Um, and like I said, about 9.15, I've got a little uh, video that I put out there. It's only like a minute or so, but just a fun thing from all of us going to Beer Fest this weekend. But thanks for all you guys that caught up. I will look forward to catching you guys soon. And Alan, I'll catch up with you in a bit later if you're going to go ahead and stream with the, uh, the gaming channel. All right, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday night. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody.